Beating two on defeat at Dagenham and Redbridge. What's the overriding feeling after that one? You've already said it. It's. Uh, I think I've already said it myself, and I think it's been said before I even came in. The story of the season. Uh, two sloppy goals to concede, uh, not taking chances, especially in the first half, create chances in the second half. Yeah, the, the keepers pulled a great fingertip save off from Akil's header uh, onto the crossbar, but um, we got in good areas and the final ball wouldn't be good enough for the final pass. It seems to be a sucker punch both times, that both goals were scored largely against the run of play. Yeah, yeah, I think you look back at the game, um, I think the first 15 minutes they started quicker than us. Um, spoke about it with the players last night and this morning, um, the front four played close together, um, inverted wing, good rolling in field. Two lads are bright and sharp up top. If quickly weren't playing, they looked stretching behind. They could be, we didn't lock them on side of the pitch quick enough. Um, we let them get out. They're, they're midfield four, um, stretch the pitch compared to our, our narrow four. So yeah, other than the first 50 minutes, um, we weathered the storm and I think we got, got in control of the game and uh, worked our way back into it, created chances and we have a very good chance and one minute later, we don't take that chance. We're 1-0 down. As you said, the story of the season. I suppose the message is still the same, isn't it? Both penalty areas. Are yeah, yeah, yeah. Route. Look, uh, we just spoke about it now. Um, it's 18 to 18, dominating possession and moving the ball well. There's no point now. We need, we need to find results out now. We need to be, there need to be men, they need to stand up and be counted. And um, it seems to be the second phase where any ball that comes in the box, we forget the first contact, the second contact, ending up in the back of our net. Uh, bodies need to be put on the line now. But one positive, if there is anything, the other penalty area, we did seem to come out strong after the break and got a reward for that at the time. Yeah, yeah, look, as I said, um, maybe they had two goals against the winner play, but that's football. That's football, they're, they're the counter attacking team, and uh, so we spoke about it, highlighted it. And we got caught by two sucker punches, but for us, that's not good enough. So we saw JJ Hooper taken off injured. One, how is he? And two, how big a blow was it for him to go off at that stage of the game? Look, it is what it is, he slipped. Um, diagnosis at the moment, I have no idea. Um, obviously, we'll see how it settles down over the next couple of days. We'll go from there regarding it. And in terms of the timing of the injury, it seemed to again come at a point where he just started to come into the game. No, I think he was fairly quiet, if I'm honest. Um, and Harry's coming on, he looked a little bit livelier and he stretched him in behind. And uh, as I said, as soon as he came on, he had an impact. He's running behind and decided to run off for the back end of the back four. And another long away trip coming up on Tuesday night. How would you get the players right for that with such a tight turnaround? Got, we've got to get right for that. There's no doubt about it. We've got to get there. And it's going to be a tough game. And uh, every game in this division is tough. It's, whether it's a long distance away or not, it's part and parcel. We go there, prepare right for it, and uh, we'll, we'll make sure when we cross that white line that the bodies are put in line for the football club. Thanks, Steve.